Hey, it's Mike back with a quick video on how to encrypt all of your files, how to make sure that your files are inaccessible. You know, we all have sensitive data on your computers and um, you want to lock that out, right? In case your laptop gets stolen or, um, you know, different bad stuff can happen, right? So I just want to show you how to do that. So if we go to the Apple menu, go to System Preferences, there's really two things we need to do here. The first is you need to make sure that you have a password on your account, which you probably do, but you know, think about it. Is it secure enough? Maybe consider changing it to something that's more secure. So in the general tab in security, so I went to Apple menu, system preferences, security and privacy. In the general tab, you wanna make sure that you have a login password set. Think about changing it if you wanna make it more secure. If it's like just a couple of digits, maybe make it more secure and um, require a password to be used um, after a certain amount of time. And this really depends on your personal preference. The, of course, the shorter is more secure, but is more annoying. Um, if you do have things like if you have an Apple Watch or if you have um, Touch ID on your laptop, then you can get in much more easily. Um, so, but it's up to you, sort of what you wanna set this to. I have it set to an hour. Uh, maybe I should think about shortening that. Um, the second thing to do is to enable File Vault. So File Vault is, it's actually technically File Vault 2, which replaces File Vault 1. File Vault 2 is full disk encryption for your Mac. And what that means is that every single file on your disk gets encrypted automatically. You don't have to change really anything in terms of your workflow. Um, uh, you turn it on, all your files get encrypted in the background, and if someone did steal your laptop, they would need to know your login password in order to access your data. Um, so I definitely recommend turning it on. And um, I can't show the settings right now because I have it on already, um, but basically the main it'll warn you that if you forget your login password, you would lose your data. So it does give you the option, uh, or it requires you to create a recovery key. And that recovery key is sort of like your safety net. It's your backup way to get into your computer. And there's two ways to do a recovery key. You can um, have the computer generate, I think it's like a 25 digit code, and you would write that down and save it somewhere safely. Um, or, uh, what? and I think this is simpler, and I tend to recommend it, you can store the recovery key with Apple using your iCloud account. And if you do that, then all you have, you have to be able to, if you, so if you do that and then you forgot your login password, you could sign in with your Apple ID uh, to recover your password. Um, so I tend to think that's easier. I guess the other way might be slightly more secure because there's no online system involved, um, but it's sort of up to you which way you want to do it. So um, with those two things, that basically means that no one can access the data on your computer. Um, say as a final option though, say you have a, um, flash drive or your external disc or, um, say your time machine backup, your time machine backup can actually be encrypted, um, in system preferences time machine. When you are adding a disc, there's a checkbox here to encrypt the backup. So I definitely recommend doing that. Um, and, uh, so that's covering your time machine disc. You also can encrypt a disk using the Finder. So in the Finder, uh, if you go down to un the Devices section, look for your external drive. This is a USB flash drive. If you right click or hold the control key down, or if you're on a trackpad, you click with two fingers, um, you'll get encrypt. And if you click on that, you can type in a password. And if you click this key, it can generate a password for you automatically. This password you want to write down and remember there's no recovery mode for this. Um, so if you do forget this, um, you'll have to um, reformat the drive and you'll lose all the data. Um, you can store the password on your computer in the keychain though, so you don't have to type it in every single time. Um, but you basically fill this out um, and then all the data will on the disk will be encrypted. So let's just, I'll just go through this. Oop, better do it right twice. And then password hint, which is good. Um, 
and I'll say encrypt. Uh, the disk is not usable here while it's encrypting, and the amount of time it takes depends on the speed of your computer and how large the disk is. But once it's done, you know, that was pretty fast. I can now use it. All my same files are there, um, but the disk is now encrypted. And if I um, unplug it and plug it into another computer, um, uh, I'll have to type the password in. So, and if I want to, oh, it actually, it actually is encrypting it still. Well, I can still use it, but it's encrypting it. Um, and I think I can even check it in disk utility. And I think it'll say encrypted somewhere. Uh, somewhere, I don't know. Entitled. Oh, right here. Duh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And when you do that, this is a, this is an interesting thing to note. Uh, good to, to note. If you do that to an external disk and you're running 10.13 and your drive, is, your internal drive is using APFS or maybe not even, not 100% sure on this, but look at what it is. My drive was not APFS originally, uh, the file, the format. Um, the disk format, and um, it now is, uh, which is fine if I use it on my own computer, but not all computers can read APFS, so just be aware of that if you do that to your external disks that um, the computers, I think, have to be running High Sierra in order to access APFS. Potentially, the last version of Sierra has support for it, but um, you wouldn't be able to use it on Windows, at least not out of the box, so... That's something to be aware of. Um, so good to use for yourself, but not so great if you need to bring this USB flash drive around to other computers. I would, um, I would not encrypt it. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you like this video, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Um, and let me know in the comments if you want me to do any other videos on any other topics. Okay, thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.